Good morning, it's just after six o'clock and I figured I'm gonna do a little bit different style of a video today and take you through a couple of days in the life. I've got a lot going on. I have to restock supplies. I have to disassemble a bed, put together a new one because a guest broke it. And we're still looking for glamping site property. And then I work a nine to five job. Plus I manage the home we live in. So I thought it would be useful to record how I get all of that done, how I balance everything and how I don't lose my mind. Um, so I think I've got some pretty good systems that I wanted to share. So come along with me as I get all of those things done. The first thing I do in the morning after brushing my teeth is I get my supplements ready and I take them. They do have a little bit of caffeine, but they're mostly just collagen and then some Celtic sea salt. And I take all of that because one, I don't like to have coffee the first thing in the morning. And two, the Celtic sea salt, it's a miracle. It keeps me hydrated all day long. And I think that's because it helps my body to retain moisture. So I find that I'm just, I'm less thirsty throughout the day. And I just found that before that I would drink like three or four and I would still feel thirsty. It was like I wasn't getting enough moisture even though I was drinking a ton of water. And the Celtic sea salt just completely changed everything. So I really, I love it. So I'm just gonna have a bit of my juice to wake me up. Then I'm going to put on my contacts. I'm gonna get dressed and head to the gym. So it's just after 6.30 and I am going to head to the gym. And it is super freezing outside. So I'm all bundled up and I'm hoping it isn't oh, cold. <laughs> Oh well, it'll wake me up. The primary way that I'm able to get everything done that I do is I prioritize my health. So as you just saw, we went to the gym and today was a cardio day. My cardio days are pretty light. I normally do a 30 minute incline walk and I don't run or do the Stairmaster elliptical, anything like that. I just, I like to walk one because I like to get my steps in, but I like to do an incline walk so that it's a little bit more rigorous. I get my heart pumping a little bit faster and uh, it's a bit more of an intense workout than a flat walk. So that is one thing that I prioritize. I work out five to six times a week, usually in the morning. And I do that because I, I just, working out at the end of the day will sometimes mean that it doesn't happen because I'll get too tired or something will just come up. I'll get too busy and I need to stay consistent in the gym. Otherwise, everything is just off in my life. So that's why I like to get it done in the morning. Okay, that's it for the workout. Let's head home. So I am walking home from the gym and I wanted to show you this lot and this house, which it's empty and I have wanted to buy it for a long time. I wrote to the owner, which I found through the tax records and never heard back. We've moved on, we're doing larger commercial projects. So I'm not pursuing single family homes anymore as investments, but down the road, it would be nice to acquire some more single family homes and do midterm rentals probably for folks who need to stay somewhere for a few months. So I'm a big believer in multifamilies as opposed to single family homes because they just, they serve a different purpose and they're great for cash flow. So now what I'm gonna do is make breakfast. I generally eat the same thing on a day-to-day -day basis. Right now I am cutting calories because I just wanna trim up a little bit. I am building muscle, but I'm also trying to trim fat. So I'm at about maybe 1500 calories a day. And breakfast is one egg, three or four egg whites, and 85 grams of some roasted vegetables, two slices of the thin sliced Dave's Killer bread, and a cup of coffee. I'm showered, I'm ready for my day, and I'm gonna start work in a few minutes, but before that, I am going to wash all of the duvet color shams that came from Amazon yesterday. So one other thing that I do to manage my time is that I bulk order supplies and replacement items, and I do that about every six months, and I just did a huge order. We needed to replace all of our towels, a few of our sheets, 
couple of our pillow shams. So before putting those into circulation, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash them. I could give them to my cleaner to wash, but they're here at my house. I'm gonna be home all day because I am working from home. So it's just easy for me to do it. So I will do that and then I will load them in my cellar, which is where I have my large store of supplies. And yeah, so that's that, plus filming some YouTube content for my channel is another thing that I'm going to do today. I also have to just kind of organize myself. There are a few other things I need to do, so I'll walk you through how I plan my day. So here's where I am in terms of planning my day. So I've got my goals listed here and then the to-dos that I have related to those goals to make sure that I am moving forward every single day. So what I have is, so I've got to film, which is what I'm doing now. I would love to um, script two more videos. I've got my macros goals here, which is basically my nutrition. So I need to follow my macros and I need to log them in the MyFitnessPal app. Then just generally for my overall like glow up routine, WAD, which stands for workout of the day. I did that this morning, following my morning and evening routine, taking my supplements. I need to do that now. I take calcium and vitamin D on a daily basis. And then my collagen stuff, which I already had early this morning. Morning. For our campsite, I want to dig more into the West Virginia properties that my love is gonna go look at later today, and I'll walk you through how I'm doing that. For work, I just have to uh, review some documents that are in clearance. For my Airbnbs, I need to finish up that laundry for all of the new linens that I purchased. I have a ton of boxes that I have to break down and put in the recycling bin. And then just for my personal care, hair, makeup, and then I do I wanna get some reading done, which hair and makeup is already already done and I'll get some reading done. So I just list out the things that I need to like do to feel really good, then the three things that are an absolute must that will make this day a success if I get them done. So everything for work, um, following and logging my macros and then all of my YouTube tasks. And then here I just kind of write my game plan, although I'm not super, super structured in terms of like I have to get things done at a certain time. It's more that I get them done in the course of the day. So I don't always flesh that out, but in any case, this is my plan for the day. Chris, my boyfriend, is at his parents in West Virginia, and he went out there to look at a few properties that we've been eyeing. And we're really thinking that we may want to do our glamping site in West Virginia first because the regulations are a lot easier. There are no zones in the state of West Virginia and the permitting process is a lot simpler. Where we live in Maryland, it's almost the exact opposite. It is very heavily regulated. So there's just a lot of restrictions in Maryland that don't exist in West Virginia, which is why we're going there first. So one thing I wanted to show you was a little bit of the due diligence that I do on properties to make sure that they are viable. This particular property is in Hampshire County, West Virginia, and I click on Parcel Viewer. So when I click on it, it shows me the area that is a floodplain, and you can see all of the areas outside of that floodplain area that would be viable. So those are the places that obviously you would want your land to be. Another thing that you can do is click on contours to see how steep it is. And the closer that the lines are together, the more steep it is. I think this looks pretty good in terms of the land that we are looking at. So I will let Chris know that um, he is good to go to check it out. Okay, so I just finished a couple of quick meetings and it is almost noon. So I'm gonna take a quick lunch break. But like I said before, I'm following my macros. So I've got some tuna in water. I've got some cherry tomatoes, some baby bell mushrooms that I'm gonna slice up. Then I've got spinach, kale, and like a coleslaw mix that I will use to make a pretty hefty and delicious salad. I will add some dressing. So that's, that's what's up for lunch. All right, so I just finished eating my delicious lunch. And while I was doing that, I was able to finish one of the things on my to-do list for work that should round out my little lunch hour. Another thing that I have to do is take that upstairs. It's pretty heavy 
It is to replace the bed frame in one of the bedrooms because one of the center structural supports is broken and I'm just afraid of it breaking on a guest. And I'm actually gonna check around upstairs because my cleaner just came to clean. Uh, I'm working with a brand new cleaner. I just got her on board maybe a few weeks ago. And so we're still adjusting and making sure that everything's done according to my specifications. I am incredibly type A about cleanliness and making sure that everything not only is spotless, but is in the right place because the decor is very good in this listing as well as all of my listings. And I just always want that to be the case. So I don't like when they put things um, in places where they don't belong. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is clean and properly placed. One thing I like to check is that they ran a lint roller over this and they did. Cause anything that's dark, you'll be able to see dust on it and I don't like that. Okay, now I've got to check the bathrooms. Oh, it smells great in here. Oh, so one thing is this fell, which is a magnifying mirror. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's back on, so we're good. This looks good. One thing I'll check is whether those have been refilled. Good. One thing I also check is making sure that there's extra extra toilet paper. Oh, great. And there's two and everything's there. Okay, so I'm hoping that this means now that we're a couple weeks in with this new cleaner and I've given her written feedback on a couple of turns that she's done that I think we've wrinkled out all of the, ironed out all of the wrinkles rather. Everything in here looks great. I absolutely love the decor in here. So you see what I'm saying? I mean, everything looks great. So I. I think we're good. I'm just gonna check upstairs and then move on with the rest of my day. So it is the end of the work day. I just logged off. Hopefully you see now why, you know, I work a nine to five job, but in those pockets of availability in the morning, at lunch, or when I'm taking a break, I will get something done that is on my to-do list so that by the end of the day, I should have accomplished a lot. So let's just review real quick. Okay, so I said that I wanted to film a day in the life, which I did. I didn't get to the two YouTube scripts. I'm honestly just too tired. I will probably do that tomorrow. Follow and log my macros, which I did. Um, I did my workout, my AM routine. I'm about to do my PM routine and I did remember to take my supplement. So I'm going to, I'm gonna mark that off. I did send some properties to Chris uh, for him to check out while he's there. Um, and then I did everything I needed to for work. I finished the laundry. I repurposed the box so I don't have to break them down. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is, is read, so I am good to go. So to become an Airbnb host, my referral link is down below. After you host your first guest, you will earn $40 for links to all of the products that you saw in my Airbnb or that I talked about. Those are also down below. There's a completely free shopping list. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.